In this video, I will show you how I successfully rooted citrus rootstock cuttings. Citrus trees are commonly propagated by grafting buds from a desired citrus fruit variety called a scion onto another citrus variety called a rootstock. Citrus rootstocks are typically grown from seeds, but in some situations it is desirable to grow them from cuttings even though it is much more challenging. For example, in Florida, Huanglong Bing, or HLB, the deadliest known citrus disease, is widespread and has been killing the rootstock trees that produce the seeds used to grow rootstock seedlings. If seeds are not available, it can be useful to grow citrus rootstocks from cuttings. I grew the cuttings in a hydroponic growth medium called stone wool. Stone wool is a man-made product created by melting rock and spinning it into a fiber. It is similar to natural glass fibers produced by volcanoes called Pele's hair. To avoid the possibility of spreading citrus disease with my tools, I sterilize them with chlorine bleach at a concentration of 1.5%. I will be showing six different rootstock varieties. I ordered the rootstock budwood from California's Citrus Clonal Protection Program, or CCPP. The CCPP exists to provide pathogen-free citrus cuttings for the propagation of citrus trees. You can click here to learn how to order citrus cuttings from the CCPP. The bacteria that causes HLB disease can be spread easily if people take citrus cuttings from trees not kept in insect-proof screen houses. For this reason, the use of registered pathogen-free citrus budwood is now mandated in California and is critical to the survival of not only the citrus industry in California, but also the citrus trees in our backyards. Even though the CCPP budwood is not ideal for rooting, I used it with success. For each rootstock cutting, I cut off the bottom and dipped it in a liquid rooting hormone before placing it in a stone wool cube. The first rootstock variety is Volcomer Lemon. It produces a vigorous large-sized tree and is widely graft-compatible with many citrus cyan varieties. The fruit quality for lemons and limes on Volcomer Lemon is good, but only fair for other varieties such as sweet oranges. The second variety, Yuma Ponderosa Lemon, produces vigorous, high-yielding large trees with good fruit quality for lemons and limes. The third variety, Cuban Shattuck, is believed to be the same variety as the Yuma Ponderosa Lemon. It was once thought to be a dwarfing rootstock, but this effect is now attributed to citrus viroids that are not present in currently available cultivars. Fruit quality for lemons and limes is good and acceptable for other varieties such as oranges, grapefruit, and pomelos. The fourth variety, Carrizo, produces a large tree if not pruned. For many varieties, including oranges, grapefruits, and pomelos, it produces fruit varying from good to excellent quality. The fifth variety, C35, produces medium-sized trees about 25% smaller than Carrizo and produces good to excellent quality fruit for many varieties. The sixth variety, Flying Dragon, produces slow-growing, small-sized trees about 60% smaller than Carrizo and produces good to excellent quality fruit for many varieties. The plants were placed inside of a humidity dome with a hydroponic ebb and flow system used to water the plants twice a day. Light was provided by T5 fluorescent lights with a timer set for 14 hours of light per day. The temperature was controlled by a heat mat, fan, and temperature controller with a target temperature of 26.7 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Leaf buds on the cuttings began to grow within the first week. Roots took longer to develop. The time-lapse video shows about eight weeks of growth, which should be sufficient for the formation of roots. The budwood of Carrizo, C35, and Flying Dragon all failed to root. These three rootstocks produce high-quality fruit for oranges, grapefruits, and pomelos, but they are more difficult to root. For a higher success rate, I would have done better to start them later in spring rather than in early March. The success rates for the Volcomer Lemon, the Yuma Ponderosa Lemon, and the Cuban Shattuck were all 100%. Because they root more easily and are compatible with a wide variety of citrus cyan varieties, these three rootstock varieties are good rootstocks to choose when rooting rootstocks. 
The next step will be to graft desired varieties onto the rooted cuttings when they grow bigger. I have videos that show how to graft successfully here. HLB is now spreading in Southern California by the Asian citrus psyllid and possibly by propagation with infected citrus budwood from inappropriate sources. Given the catastrophic potential of HLB, we citrus enthusiasts all must maintain the highest cytosanitary standards and only use registered budwood for our citrus propagation. Please share this video to spread the word that we all must propagate only with pathogen-free budwood to help us win this fight against HLB. Thank you.